Pluto is a distant and mysterious celestial object that continues to puzzle scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Once thought to be the ninth planet in our solar system, it was later reclassified as a dwarf planet, a move that sparked debate and curiosity around the world. Despite losing its planetary status, Pluto has remained in the spotlight. Astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have recently stirred interest by suggesting that Pluto may be on a potential collision course with Neptune. This idea has alarmed many and raised new questions about our solar system's future. Could two celestial bodies like Pluto and Neptune truly collide? What would the consequences be? Is this just a rare cosmic chance or something more concerning? These are questions that have reignited public and scientific interest. Pluto's orbit is unlike any other. It is highly elliptical and tilted at a 17-degree angle compared to the rest of the solar system. This tilt makes Pluto's orbit extreme and adds layers of complexity to its movement around the Sun. It takes Pluto about 248 years to complete one orbit around the Sun. Since it was discovered in 1930, it still hasn't finished even one full orbit. That gives you an idea of just how vast and slow its journey is. A particularly fascinating detail is that for about 20 years during its orbit, Pluto comes closer to the Sun than Neptune. This situation seems to create a perfect setup for a cosmic collision, but amazingly, it hasn't happened. The reason Pluto and Neptune don't crash into each other lies in the gravitational dance of planets. Their orbits are in a special alignment where Pluto never comes too close to Neptune at the same time. Instead, their movements keep them safely apart. This is known as, resonance, where for every two orbits Pluto makes, Neptune completes three. This resonance is a major reason their paths don't cross dangerously. Astrophysicists study this through complex mathematics and simulations. They also examine concepts like aim libration which keeps Pluto at least 90 degrees away from Neptune during the point where their orbits appear to cross. This keeps them from being in the same place at the same time. Another concept is scope libration, which describes Pluto's up and down motion relative to the solar system's plane. This vertical movement offers an added layer of protection, keeping Pluto above or below Neptune's path when they're close. We also have to consider VZK wobbling, a phenomenon explained by scientists who studied how multiple celestial bodies influence each other over time. This wobble is key to keeping Pluto's orbit stable even if it appears chaotic. These gravitational interactions demonstrate how even an orbit that looks unstable can remain safe for billions of years. Still, Pluto's path is sensitive. Small changes in its orbit could result in major shifts over long timescales. That's why astrophysicists say Pluto's orbit is chaotic but not dangerous, at least not yet. Computer models from the 1980s and recent years show that tiny variations in Pluto's starting position or speed could create huge differences in its future path. But thanks to the combined gravitational pull of Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, Pluto's path is currently stable. These giant planets act like cosmic shepherds, ensuring Pluto stays on course. Even so, Scientists like Michio Kaku warn that minor changes over time, caused by the gravitational forces of these planets or others, could one day lead to a dangerous shift in Pluto's orbit. Although it sounds unlikely, it can't be ruled out entirely. Neil deGrasse Tyson, who played a key role in Pluto's reclassification, also stresses that our understanding of celestial mechanics is constantly evolving. He encourages us to keep studying objects like Pluto because they help us learn more about how the universe works. These warnings do not mean we should panic. Instead, they highlight the uncertainty and beauty of space. Nothing is completely fixed in the cosmos. Even small factors can grow into big events when you look at time on the billions of years scale. Future changes in the sun, such as its transformation into a red giant, could shift the balance of forces that currently protect Pluto from crashing into another planet. These changes would reshape the entire solar system. This is why studying Pluto and Neptune is more than just space curiosity. It gives us a clearer view of how planets and dwarf planets interact. It shows how even the smallest bodies are affected by the powerful gravitational forces of their neighbors. The idea that Pluto and Neptune might one day collide sounds like science fiction 
but it reminds us how fragile and interconnected the solar system really is. The more we look into space, the more we realize how much there is still to learn. As our tools for space observation improve, we'll get better at predicting the movements of distant objects. Whether or not Pluto ever hits Neptune, the possibility helps keep us curious about the mysteries of the cosmos. Pluto's story invites us to embrace uncertainty and marvel at the vast, unpredictable universe we're part of. It teaches us to be humble and to keep asking questions. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.